On the 10th of May, Arvind Kejriwal received interim bail from the Supreme Court to join his party's campaign for the ongoing Lok Sabha elections until the 1st of June, the last phase of the polls, that is. In the course of the past almost two weeks, the AAP Supremo held a slew of mega rallies and roadshows across the national capital and Jharkhand and Chandigarh and Amritsar and insinuated that the government wants to end reservation and bring dictatorship. He's also appealed to the voters, stating that if the people choose the Ahmadmi Party, he won't be sent back to jail. Well, since the start of his political career, Kejriwal has cultivated an image of being a crusader against corruption. Now, the big question that arises is, will the Ahmadmi Party lose votes due to his arrest under the grounds of corruption or alleged corruption or are they going to gain votes because of uh, the victimhood angle in this entire development? We'll talk about this with our guest. Joining us on the show is Preeti Agarwal, BJP spokesperson. Advocate Anmol Panwar, Aam Aadmi Party spokesperson, also joins us on the show. Mr. Shivam Bhagat, Congress spokesperson with us on the program as well. Dr. Suvra Kamal Datta, senior political commentator and economist, also with me in the studio. And last but by no means the least, Professor Madhav Nalapath, editorial director of the Sunday Guardian, also joins us on the program. Professor Nalapath, I'll be begin with you, sir. Well, very interesting to see how Delhi is, in fact, uh, you know, being galvanized by all three parties to come out there and vote. But the most interesting facet, or rather the attachment of pr unpredictability, is rather being associated with the Aam Aadmi Party. In your opinion and in your long career of seeing politicians come and go and fail or succeed because of so-and-so reason, does Arvind Kejriwal benefit from the taint or does he in fact benefit from the victimhood card that perhaps is evident to all? Well, uh, Vineet, let me be a little contraintuitive and say that had Arvind uh, remained in jail and not got out of bail, he would possibly have attracted a much larger uh, number of votes than he would now be attracting in the course of all these road shows. Uh, the Aam Aadmi Party, immediately after he was imprisoned, they tried to basically give, you know, as you correctly said, the appearance that he has been made a victim of, but they showed him behind bars. And, uh, and from that point of view, there was a very strong appeal uh, to the sympathy factor. But then he's then he was uh, released on bail, and I'd like I'd like to say very clearly from the very beginning, as someone who's very keen on civil liberties, I've basically been opposed to the policy that we have pursued even after 1947 of being a little too liberal in sending people to jail. Jail ought to be a last resort, absolutely a last resort, and very often, unfortunately, because the uh, the 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 penal laws are still very much what they were in earlier times, it is not the last resort, it is often the, the, the first resort or the only resort. But having said that, I'd like to say that, that the fact that he was released on bail by the Supreme Court no less, I think that has taken away a lot of that victimhood uh, uh, kind of, uh, of, of, of gloss uh, uh, of him. But and again, I'd like to repeat, had he remained in jail, he would have got more votes than now when he's, uh, at least until the 1st of June, he's free and he's going around campaigning. Mm. All right, Dr. Datta, where do you stand on this? You know, I know this is basically like comparing apples and oranges, but let's not forget when, you know, uh, former Prime Minister Indira Gandhi was assassinated, the Congress party came back with a thumping majority of 400 across, something that the BJP aspires to, and a large part of that vote can be attributed to the sympathy vote which was given to Rajiv Gandhi and his party. Uh, it's no comparison, but the fact of the matter is that there is this very absolute concept of sympathy vote, which does benefit parties from time to time. Is Arvind Kejriwal slated to, in fact, uh, take credit or take adva advantage of it? Uh, well, good evening, Vinit. Sympathy vote for what? Sympathy vote for liquor gate? That he suffered at the hands of the opposition. That's what they say. They can claim so many claims, and their claims can be as tall as the ivory tower, but the claims will be dusted to dust on the 4th of June. Question is, sympathy vote for what? Sympathy vote for Mohalla clinic scam? Sympathy vote for the transport scam? Sympathy vote for the education scam? Sympathy vote for the liquor gate, 
sympathy vote for the sexual molestation case against Swati Maiwal or sympathy vote for a person who is on a temporary bail because of the magnanimity of the Honorable Supreme Court till the 2nd of June. Sympathy votes can be for people who are tormented, people who have legitimate, uh, you know, like uh, issues against the ruling dispension, and those who do not have an iota of questionable uh, character on issues related to governance, issues related to policies, issues related to corruption, and issues related to general administration. Mr. Kejriwal doesn't score anything on all these issues. So where is the sympathy vote? I think it is the other way around. Sympathy vote against Aam Admi Party because of this crescendo of uh, you know, a plethora of misgovernance, daily bickering, and on top of well, that... Well, they say it's the BJP you know, that doesn't allow them to uh, govern Delhi. See, governing Delhi is something uh, which is a different thing altogether because Delhi is a quasi-state. The Aam Admi Party should have realized and understood this. Delhi cannot be a full-fledged state like Bengal or Chhattisgarh or Madhya Pradesh. There are some shortcomings as per the constitution of the country. And because of several international permutation combination, Delhi cannot be a full-fledged state. So the Ahmadabhi Party government should have worked in cognizance with the central government. They chose not to do this. And that's the reason they could not perform well in terms of uh, daily governance. Second is leave, leave that aside. The level of corruption, the kind of things which are coming out one after another from the CM house itself, this is something which no one could even think of. Okay. In the past, we do remember about the guest okay, house up. Kand, uh, yeah, guest yeah. house Kand in Lucknow, but out here it is a CM house Kand which has happened. You know, so on what parameters will Mr. Kejriwal ask in for sympathy votes, okay. and on what parameters people of Delhi will vote for sympathy vote for the Aam Admi Party? All right, let let me bring in Advocate uh, Anmol Pan Pan Panwar into this conversation as well, Anmol. I see your finger go up. How do you respond to what uh, Dr. Datta has said? And, uh, you know, do you think that uh, blaming all of your, uh, uh, you know, problems and travails on the Bharti Janata Party or the opposition, uh, you know, is the right direction or even the right approach to consolidate any kind of sympathy or, you know, for that matter, any votes? Viniji, I'm shocked at uh, the understanding of Mr. Datta. He lacks basic understanding of law. He doesn't know the difference between conviction and allegation. He doesn't know the legal principle of our Indian Don't teach me legalities. Let him Do not so teach please, me legalities. You, I'll give you an option to respond. I have an LLB. You don't have an LLB. So he, don't he, teach he, me he, He's an advocate too. He's a, he's a lawyer too. All right. <laughs> so <laughs> I, did not, I did not interrupt you, let, sir. Let, let, so let's, the, let's, let's give him an opportunity. Let's give him he, an opportunity. Go ahead. Go ahead. If, if, if you have an LLB and still you are making such baseless statements, then it is really very shocking because... The criminal jurist, the criminal justice system says that an accused is presumed innocent until proven guilty. So, uh, like you made a very serious allegation against uh, Mr. Vibhav Kumar in the case related to Swati Maliwal, even the accused has a fundamental right to be heard. He has given a complaint to the Delhi police five days back and no FIR has been registered on the basis of that complaint. So how uh, this this unfair investigation at the behest of Delhi police on the instructions of BJP, it speak volumes about this incident. Secondly, you made uh, baseless allegations about the so-called liquor scam and the so-called Mohalla clinic scam of which you are, uh, I am pretty sure that you are not even aware about the correct facts. It is the Honorable Supreme Court who made observations of 30th of October 2023 while giving the judgment of uh, Manish Sisodiaji that this case will fall flat after two questions 
in cross examination he also sought information from the enforcement directorate that there's no trace of proceeds of money which which is uh, traced to either mr arvind kejriwal or mr manish sisodia and in fact it is uh, 60 crore rupees were donated by the so called alleged kingpin of the liquor scam p sharad reddy director of orbindo pharma and the home minister mr amit shah when he was recently questioned on this particular uh, point he admitted that he is an accused then okay. it is for the bjp to answer that why did they take 60 crore bribe from the alleged kingpin of the liquor scam and secondly why didn't the enforcement directorate investigate into this matter and uh, sought uh, information about the role of bjp president or their functionaries because the proceeds of money is traced to bjp not to aam aadmi party while hearing the matter in sanjay singh's case the honorable supreme court said that if the enforcement directorate fights this case on merits then they'll be forced to make observations under section 46 of the pmla act pmla act and stating that prime of si no offense is being made out and this so called pmla act which you introduced in 2018 just because you don't have majority in rajya sabha you took a money bill route and passed it in lok sabha the only purpose is okay. to give all right preeti Pre 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 agarwal preeti agarwal bjp spokesperson wants to respond to you all right preeti agarwal bjp spokesperson also wants to respond to you preeti agarwal how do you look at this uh, you know continuous uh, you know in fact uh, strikes against the bharatiya janata party when it comes to all the problems that the aam aadmi party is facing today you muted preeti people are actually afraid of facing 25th and thereafter second when kejriwal is going back jail let me tell you one thing just tell me just All right, we've lost Preeti. We in uh, in in Vinay in fact, Vinay ji, they are not in a position to answer. All right, she's lost. And she's I, lost I the connection. Mr. No, no, no. I thought Mr. Datta is BJP spokesperson. Tell me no, one no, thing. No, no, he's not. He's an Indian. He's an Indian. Preeti, I can't see your video. Preeti, unless I see your video, unless I see your video, I I, I won't be able to. In fact, uh, you know, just take your audio. In fact, in the meantime, why don't you fix your video? Let me. Okay, there you are. You're back with us, Preeti. Go on. Yeah. Just tell me one thing. Just ask him one thing. Who is Swati Maliwal? Is she BJP's worker? she is aam aadmi party's worker and who placed her who posted her as a uh, mahila chairman mahila ayog chairman who posted her she is the mp of she is mp of uh, aam aadmi party and she was nominated by aam aadmi party she is not our worker we have nothing to do with swati kejriwal uh, we are, we have nothing to do with swati maliwal jitni bhi abhadrata hui hai hmm. Preeti, we keep losing you. Let me, in fact, quickly rope in Shivam Bhagat, also of the Congress Party, Congress spokesperson. Shivam, uh, the back and forth between the Aam Aadmi Party and the Bharti Janata Party will continue, you know. But the fact of the matter is that the Aam Aadmi Party, of course, uh, needs the support of its constituents for Arvind Kejriwal to have any kind of an upper hand. While jail term or going back to prison, the hard jail is hovering above his head and uh, his party. See, Vinay, the BJP has ensured that the people take notice of the India Alliance and its all its parties. Do you think the people are, are unaware and blind to see the freezing of the principal opposition party's bank accounts? Do you think the people like that? Do you think the people like jailing of sitting chief ministers? Do you think people like you taking in your party highly corrupt individuals, allegedly highly corrupt individuals? and then giving them a clean chit do you think people like rahul people like rahul gandhi taking adani's name in parliament and then very in the very next day or weeks to come is expelled from parliament the bjp has themselves ensured a wave and undercurrent and a sympathy for the opposition parties the bjp has created this by their high handedness and by their authoritarianism and the people of india are sick of it the people of india want nyay the people of india don't want only one man kaam hmm. ki man ki baat they want kaam ki baat the people of india don't want of this pattern of vendetta the people of <coughs> india don't want businessmen having gun to their heads giving electoral bond money therefore the bjp has created this wave this is not the opposition party the bjp has created this wave 
through okay. this authoritarianism and through this dictatorial act. All right, Professor Nalapat, you know the Aam Aadmi Party has always been slated as a party which has taken advantage of opportunities. Do you think this was uh, a failed uh, opportunity that they could have capitalized on? You know, so many of their leaders lodged in jail, they could have perhaps capitalized on this for electoral gates. Well, well, look, Vineet, uh, the, the fact of the matter is that, uh, yes, a lot of them have been uh, sent to jail and uh, we and and uh, you know then uh, courts have now got to adjudicate on whether, uh, whether they they should be in jail or not that's a separate point the fact of the matter is the one card the bjp has got and and i'm sorry to disagree with my friend from the congress party the is narendra modi and if the focus is that look do you want narendra modi back as prime minister and if that is the national focus, I can I can tell you, in my view, the BJP will do exceptionally well. Essentially, if the contest is about Narendra Modi or no Narendra Modi, the BJP is going to do exceptionally well. But if other issues start coming into the frame, whether the issues relating to uh, to other leaders, uh, leaders of other parties, and all that, then there is going to be a problem. So very frankly, the 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 this is. The, if the central issue in the election, do you want Narendra Modi back as Prime Minister? Do you want Modi 3.0? And the sense that I am getting from talking to a lot of people is that yes, there are some very critical voices against him, but overall, the overwhelming number of people want him back. And I think that is a sense that I am getting uh, from my conversations. And coming back to Mr. Kejriwal, I would again like to say that in my personal view, he ought to have been arrested, if at all, maybe three months before or three months after the uh, after he was arrested, and not just before an election, because that gives an opening to individuals. <coughs> the position of the ED, it gives an opening to individuals to say that the arrest was politically motivated. And I'd also like to add that I am opposed to any policy in which arrest frankly is put forward as an option except in the rarest of rare cases because personal freedom is something very precious and i'm sorry to say our, our friends in the opposition they talk a lot about personal freedom the i've i've covered this for a long time whenever i've seen them in government i can assure you they absolutely have no respect for the freedom of others and they are merely go around arresting and several of the laws, several of the most restrictive laws that have been passed in India were passed, for example, during the UPA tenure by Home Minister Chidambaram and, and by others. So I'd only like to say, quite yeah, I mean, frankly, I wish people in the opposition and I wish everybody, the ruling party, everybody will remember that democracy means the rule of the people and the rule of law. And I, they would, and uh, whatever colonial vestiges are there in our legal system, that should have been eliminated in 1947. Right. I hope it will be eliminated beginning, you know, in 2024 onwards. All right. Well, on ground, Dr. Datta, you know, there could be a lot of noise from uh, the Congress Party and the Aam Aadmi Party is what we have gathered. Yeah, Preeti ji, I'll come to you once, one, one minute, please. Uh, uh, Dr. Datta has been waiting to respond to Anmol since a very long time. Dr. Datta, go ahead. Uh, well, uh, what I understand is like from the Honorable Chief Minister of Delhi right up to the Aam Admi Party, Aam Karikarta, they all suffer from a kind of a cry baby syndrome. Every day from early on the morning they come and they start wailing before the media. Oh, this has been done with me. This has been done. It's a politics of vendetta. It's a politics so of it's not a intentional, intentional acrimony, everything. You know, the judges of the Delhi High Court passes in an order against, uh, uh, you know, like uh, the jailed uh, uh, deputy chief minister of Delhi. They say that, oh, this is again victimization. It's political victimization. I think the judges of the Honorable Delhi High Court is much more learned than any, uh, uh, you know, Tom, Dick or Harry rudimentary lawyers here and there. 
You know, so if they are questioning the sanctity and the independence of the judges, that itself is highly, highly deplorable. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Just five seconds more. Quickly, quickly. Five seconds more. You know, had uh, Arvind Kejriwal been so holy like Mother Ganges, then why is it that the Delhi High Court judges asked the Ahmadmi Party as to why 170 SIM cards were destroyed. Okay, all right. In you the made your point. Gate, you, you made know? your point. I, all right. All right. I want Preeti Agarwal to come in now. Supreme one second. Court one second. Also. I want Preeti Agarwal to come in now, and then we go to one more. Preeti ji, go ahead. Yeah. See, we at BJP, we are with the people, for the people, and by the people. It is our ideology to be the people and work for the people who are at the last days now everybody will see on fourth modi ji will come again as a prime minister everybody all the people of india and everybody is with modi ji and i think we should not beat around the bush and we should talk to the point if okay. we talk about kejriwal the cm of delhi as he told me my brother before me, he told me that he is a crying baby and he is a crying baby. He has a crying baby syndrome. It is a fact. Kejriwal ji ne Delhi ke liye agar kuch kiya hai, to sirf ghotale kiye hai. Who told him? Who told him for excise ghotala? Who told him uh, uh, for uh, this? Who told him for smoke towers? Lagaye the smoke towers ke naam pe ghotala, school ke naam pe ghotala. Bus ghotala, pani ke naam pe ghotala, excise policy ghotala, aur ab unke shish mahal ke andar unki appoint ki hui Swati Maliwal ji ke upar. Chali Preeti ji. Unke OSD ke dwara marpeet ki jaani. Ji, bilkul. Kya ye kisi ne unko kaha tha? Dilli ki janta dekh rahi hai. You can fool some of the people some of the time. All you can't fool people, all the people all the time. All right, Anmol, Anmol, 20 seconds for you to for, for, for a comeback. Anmol, 20 seconds for you to come back. We've Vinay seriously, ji, we've seriously done Vinay our time. Vinay ji, the reason why they have been targeting us since 2014 is because we have built... We are not uh, targeting we you. Have built, it is a fact that everybody allow, knows about Okay, let him finish. Let him finish, Preeti ji. Let him finish. Because, because we have built world-class education system. In last 10 years, we have built 22,711 classrooms. In last 70 years, only 24,000 classrooms were there. We have uh, built These classrooms good, are good, not on good ground, these are only in books. Ma'am, please do not get educated. Finish. Let him finish. Please allow me to complete. We are giving free electricity to every citizen, free water supply, and this is the model which we have even emulated in Punjab. Okay. And the fact is because All right. not fair enough. Fair enough. I, I, can't allow, I can't allow more fair. time. We've done out of time. would like to thank everybody who joined us. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.